Well, Danny, we said after Saturday you must have been surprised not to have got all three points. Were you perplexed to not have hit the back of the net tonight? Yeah, I think we've done enough to, to, to win the game for sure. I thought, tough way into the game. It's never easy coming here. AFC Wimbledon full of energy. Play with a, start with a real intensity. We had to earn the right. I thought by about 20 minutes we got good control of the game. Had a strong finish to the first half. Some great defending. Hayden's just about to score and it gets just taken off of his, taken off his head with some, some heroic defending from AFC Wimbledon. Second half we had pretty much complete control and dominance in the game. Kept getting to the final third. Creates enough chances to win. Certainly, um, you know, we've had the, the Marlon Romeo shot hit the bar. I think Tyler Walker's had one. Um, Ronan's had one. Rags has, has had a really good header, which is a fantastic save from the goalkeeper. Should have had a penalty. I mean, I don't, I've watched it back. I don't actually know how he doesn't give that because he had a clear look at it. He looked at it twice and I thought he went. Uh, I thought he. he he made the easy decision rather than the right decision, which was frustrating. But, um, yeah, it's a clean sheet. It's another point. But if we want to achieve what we want to achieve this year, these are the games that we have to turn into victories. Yeah, again, as you said, uh, another strong second half. You really came out of the traps, um, you know, looking for that, looking to, to try and break the, break the deadlock. Yeah, absolutely. I thought we played with intensity and purpose and aggression in the second half. Um, and there's a lot to like in our performance up. So probably that little moment extra, that little bit of quality, that kind of je ne sais quoi moment that you that you sometimes need to get on the right side of these um, these tight games. Um, we have to keep working. I have a feeling, you know, we've made some good recruitment in the last last 48 hours. Um, I have a feeling that that you know those little bits of quality that we're looking for will will certainly come. What did you make of your new number nine tonight? Yeah, I thought you. He was good tight, he was bright, always always on the shoulder, good movement, some good link play. Um, it's nice to be able to play into him and be able to trust him with looking after the ball. Um, Tyler's, I've worked with Tyler. I know what he's capable of. Um, he's, he's a top player, um, beyond this level for sure. And you know we, we anticipate once he gets his rhythm, he, he'll be lethal for us. And uh, Hayden Carter as well, how did he do on his debut? Yeah, I thought, again, a really assured performance beyond his years. You know, he's a boy that, that is ready to, to play, he's fit, he's hungry, he's on upward curve and I, and I like having players in my squad that, 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 that have those qualities. Just to end on a positive note, I think it was your 13th clean sheet in the league tonight, which is the highest in League One. It shows that things are working at that end of the pitch. Yeah, yeah, they are. We, we work hard on our defensive organisation. Um, it's always easier to set up a team against the ball, but you always have to respect um, the, the opponent and, the, and, the, and, the, and the, the defensive side of the game. Um, the fact that we do it with, a, with, with an 11 and everybody respects that part of the game, I think is credit to the players because the attacking end of the pitch don't wake up in the morning thinking about defending, but it is important if we want to be successful. What we have to do now is turn those... So, you know those games where we keep clean sheets into into wins because there's you know with the quality that we have here, um, particularly now, you know those 13 clean sheets should all be wins. So if we can in the second half of the season match that and find another, I think we, we kept 27 clean sheets one year at, at Braintree, so we're, we're targeting that, going after that, and if we can find another 13, 14 clean sheets, then hopefully we'll find 13, 14 wins.